22 Britannia Road, a historical novel by Amanda Hodgkinson, follows Polish couple Sylvana and Janice Novak, who become separated during World War II when Janice joins the army. Sylvana flees Poland with their son, Orek. They search for Janice for years before finally meeting in England when she learns he has survived. The novel explores the different forms of trauma created during this atrocity, Sylvana's from her experiences of alienation, displacement, and grief, and Janice's from suppressing his emotions and memories in order to survive the war. The novel is celebrated for its realist portrayals of the transformations people underwent during World War II. 22 Britannia Road opens near the end of the war. It has been six years since Sylvana and Orek have seen Janice, but now they are finally traveling to meet him in England. Sylvana is heavily traumatized, the causes of her trauma, revealed gradually throughout the novel. The rest of the novel cycles back and forth through three time periods, the 1930s, wartime, and the immediate post-war stage. Each period depicts the world through both Janice and Sylvana's perspectives. Back when Janice and Sylvia first meet, they are young Polish adults living in Warsaw. They get married, then move into a flat together. Orek is born and grows into a happy two-year-old boy. The inexorable expansion of World War II ends their hopeful coexistence. Believing that he has an obligation to fight for Poland, Janice enlists in the army. Not long after joining his unit, Poland is bludgeoned by Hitler's army on one side and the Russians on the other. Janice loses track of his unit but meets two defecting soldiers, Franek and Bruno. Together, they make plans to escape to England to join the English military, where their chance of survival is much greater. They make their way to Marseille, France. Franek dies on the way, and the other two nearly die from exhaustion. Janice meets and falls in love with a French woman named Helene. Her family gives them their blessing, and Janice all but intends to stay with them indefinitely. However, when Hitler's army turns its sights on France, Janice and Bruno decide to move on. They make it to Britain just as the Germans strike Marseille, killing Helene. Janice survives his service in the military, but Bruno perishes in a plane crash. Janice has another girlfriend, who ultimately sends him away to find the family he left behind. In parallel to Janice's timeline, Sylvana and Orek delay in Warsaw as their nation's security collapses around them. They leave Warsaw, but Orek dies during their escape. Traumatized and grief-stricken, without anyone to support her, Sylvana finds an orphan baby and decides to raise him just like Orek, even endowing him with the same name. For the next few years, they hide in the forests of Poland, subsisting on the occasional kindness of farmers and on the food and shelter they can forage for in nature. They do not make it out of Poland, but are eventually found by British soldiers and sent to a camp for refugees. Janice locates their refugee camp and reunites with them. At the end of the novel, Janice, Sylvana, and Orek travel back to Britain. Orek is now seven, and though Sylvana still grieves over the death of her first son, she loves this Orek as her own. Janice buys a house at the titular 22 Britannia Road, symbolizing the return of normalcy and stability to their family. Janice hopes to rebuild his family in an idyllic fashion, while Sylvana, the more realistic of the two, only hopes that Janice will be a father figure for Orek. Though the passage of time has created an emotional gap between Sylvana and Janice, they both work to mend it. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.